Oh, welcome, Waffle Wolfets. We are back with the brilliant Days Gone on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And what we're going to be doing today is, as you all know, we are trying to build a massive truck bomb that's going to be filled with fertilizer and creosote oil. And then we're going to use that truck to blow a massive hole in Colonel Garrett's militia camp so that we can defeat them because obviously they're planning on attacking the Lost Lake camp again. So we can kill the Colonel, hopefully kill Schizo hopefully, and then also rescue Sarah at the same time. So that's what we're doing at the moment. Now uh, before I can go and get the creosote oil, which is going to mean that I need to battle the biggest freaker horde in the game at the sawmill, before I go and do that, we have to do another random miscellaneous task for Copeland. Now I don't think, can I fast travel there? I don't know if, I don't know if it's going to, oh it does. Right, we're going to fast travel over here quickly just to save some time. We'll probably have to kill a couple of bandits at the gate or whatever. Have a chat with Copeland. I think he wants us to rescue Manny, if I remember correctly. We'll go and rescue Manny as quick as possible. And then we should have at least 25-ish minutes to deal with the sawmill horde. Now, I'm a, I'm a bit worried about this video just because I know if I do end up dying or failing, the, the sawmill horde is so big that when you fail, it, you've wasted like a good 10-15 minutes because it's that big, you know. So I want to try and get it done in one without any fuck-ups. Copeland's camp has been attacked. Open it up, he's okay. Thank you. Come on, get him inside. What happened? Got hit again. The squatters off the highway. We've got to get some men together, go after them. Me, it ain't my problem. They've got Manny. You sent Manny on a supply run. I just run the camp, Deke. I don't tell folks how to live their lives. Go to hell, Cope. I worked at the Damn. I don't think I can actually buy any fuel. I don't think I'll need any. I should I should have enough. Yeah, it's only 322 meters, but yeah, I can't buy any fuel at the moment because Manny isn't here. So yeah, no no fuel for me, no bike parts for me. I'm just going to go this way. I assume it's going to be quicker than following the way they want me to go. Oh, careful, careful. All right, I've got to go find Manny. I don't think this is going to take very long. I think we just have to kill a couple of like... I guess I don't think it is Colonel Garrett's man. I think he said squatters, didn't he? So just a bunch of random people that are causing trouble and shenanigans, you know. Deal with them quickly. It should take a couple of minutes. And then once that's done, you know, we can go and uh, do something more challenging and deadly. I guess that's his bike. Nope, I found his bike. I'm going to see if I can track him down. My men said they'd set up an ambush on the Sanium. Yeah, I already found it. Deacon out. Oh, good. Right. I don't know how many people are here. I know there's a couple of snipers we have to deal with. I've got my sniper rifle. I've got 11 bullets, you know. And I don't think there's more than 11 baddies, so we should be alright. But also, actually, ah, uh, thinking about it. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a body hanging. I thought there was someone just standing there. They're not moving. I was going to say, that's bloody terrifying. <laughs> okay, if I remember correctly, uh, you might have to battle a bear. So maybe don't use your sniper rifle and use all of your ammo. If you have got a sniper rifle with you, maybe just save some of the bullets for your for the bear when it arrives. I think there's a bear here. I might be lying. But we could just run in there and run and gun people. It's all good. We don't have to worry. But I don't have my saddlebag with me, so if I do waste ammo, I'm not going to be able to restock. Do you remember E3? What was it? It, it wasn't E3 2016 when they first revealed this game, was it? It was like, it might have been 2018. Because Sony did that weird E3 conference in 2018 where they were trying to show off four games. And then everything went a bit tits up because they were trying to put people in lights in theatres that were like matching the same sort of area as they was in in the game. 
So like they had everybody in a massive gazebo whilst they watched the scene with Ellie in The Last of Us 2 inside of a gazebo. And then I think they were going to switch it to a new place that would look like Death Stranding. Then they were going to move to another place that looked like Spider-Man. I think it ended up going tits up, you know. But during the days gone, didn't they have like a bunch of weird people hanging from the, st from the roof of the sh uh, stage, you know. Man... Sony, you make brilliant games, but you need to pack all of this stuff in, you know? It's alright having an orchestra playing, like, the soundtrack of a game. That's enjoyable, but you need to stop some of the stuff you do. It's like, it's unnecessary, you know? It's unnecessary, you know? We just want to watch a trailer. It's all good, Sony. You don't need to try so hard, my friend. You don't need to try so hard. <laughs> just to show us the trailer and go home. It's all good. And normally I'm awake at 2am watching it, so I'd rather go to bed. <laughs> that wasn't predictable at all, was it? That's disgusting, isn't it? Damn, I'm leaving my bike very far behind, didn't I? There is a couple of, like, snipers around here, I think. Oh, is this just a... Oh. Now, we are actually going pretty damn far. Uh-oh. Where's that coming from? Is it coming from around there? Which way is it coming from? Is it coming from down there? I don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> There's a medical kit here, lovely. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, I guess it is that side then. How'd you like it? Oh, what's that? Oh, flip it. What are you doing? What are you doing, dear? <laughs> Jesus, trying to give me a heart attack. I thought it was a wolf. Come here, you son of a bitch. How'd you like that? Does that feel good, does it? Does that feel good? Do you like that? Okay, like I said, I'm going to save a couple of bullets. There is a couple of snipers around here somewhere. Probably that guy there. Right, we'll save the rest of the bullets now. Because, like I said, I don't know if there's like a bear around here that we have to deal with. So I'd rather keep a few bullets in reserve just in case. <laughs> what a twat. It just ran at me like a mad lad. There's quite a few people here, isn't there? Quite a few bloody people here. Now, we were just wiping them out. It's crazy how much, like, stronger I've gotten from the start of the game, you know? Like, obviously, you'd be saying to yourself, Beowulf, of course you've gotten stronger. You're near the end of the game, you'd swat. But that's not what I'm saying. Like, sometimes you play these games and you're always getting stronger at the end, but you don't really notice it very much in some games. Where this game, you really just notice it, you know? You really do notice the difference in your strength, you know? Some games are not very good at it, you know? Like, God of War is another one that's very good because you start off with very basic weapons, you know, and stuff like that. You don't really know many combos. I'm talking like God of War 3. What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck happened to you? I guess there's quicksand around here. But uh, yeah, like in God of War 3, you'll start off with basic weapons. No combo like God of War 3. And then by the end of it, you've got like Hades weapons, you know. You've got like the speedy boots of uh, Herms, you know. Then you've got like the Hercules gauntlets, you know. And then you unlock new combos and then you can like do certain combos or you can switch between weapons whilst mid-combo. You could do like so many cool things by the end of the game. You feel like an absolute beast, you know? I like stuff like that. And this game has done it very well. You start off with like a shitty pistol that does no damage, you know? By the end of the game, you're like rocking sniper rifles that could one-shot breakers and bears and flipping... Oh. Hi, Manny. <sighs> hey. I wasn't going to let him kill you. Besides, who the hell is around here who knows how to rebuild a carburetor? Just back up. Nice and slow. Don't make a sound. Okay, let me get my sniper rifle out. I feel I can take this guy down pretty quickly. Wasted a bunch of bullets then. Flipping, I missed three. There you go. 
Easy peasy, man. Easy peasy. There's nothing, man. It's nothing. Easy. I've been camping too long. Never saw nothing like that before. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. All right. Let me just uh, let me just heal up a little bit. Lovely. We're not gonna dawdle back where you are, we? What happened? What are you doing out here? I don't know. I haven't been on a run in months. Felt like maybe I wasn't. I don't know. Doing my share, you know? A lot of assholes with guns out here, Manny. Not many know how to fix the shit that they ride around on. Yeah, yeah. That's what Cope said. Yeah, for once I agree with the son of a bitch. So what do you think? Why's it gotta be this way? Way. Everyone out here trying to kill everyone else. Ah, Manny, you know how many folks were locked up in prisons before the shit went down? I mean, here in the States, uh, no idea. Two and a half million. You count the ones that are out on parole and probation, that's almost seven million. So, one in 35 was someone who did. You good from here? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Deke, I owe you, man. I'd be dead right now if you hadn't... Manny. Nose down. Nose down. They feed you. Now get the hell out of here. <laughs> Nose down, they feed you. Yeah, just stay, stay in the camp where it's nice and cosy. Not very cosy, actually. They practically live in a tree house, don't they? But yeah, just stay in there, you know, fix a couple of motorbikes and get your dinner, mate. You don't need to come out here with guns. We've got Deacon out here with a gun. We don't need anyone else. <laughs> All right, I guess we're going to be going to the sawmill now, aren't we? Is it? Yep. Head to the sawmill. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't want to do this. Right, I'm going to fast travel back to Iron Mike's first. I need to get a couple of... Uh, satchels of ammo and that because we really need to stock up for this because we're going to need so much ammo but yeah like i said there is a way that you're supposed to be able to do this stealthily i don't know if i said it in the last video or this one but uh i think one way that i i was doing it when i was doing a mission near this place once um the the hold heard me i think it might have been a nero checkpoint the hold heard me and i ran across a lake and they wouldn't follow me no matter what I did behind this lake, they wouldn't follow me. So I reckon if you get the four satchel upgrade for your motorbike and you just sit on the other side of this lake, you could probably just shoot the uh, freakers from the other side of the lake and you'll be perfectly fine. Because they don't seem to follow you or anything. They won't cross this lake. I don't know why. I don't know if that's maybe an example of what people were talking about in terms of like... I hope I found them. Hey, Deep. Thank God and country. He's alive? He's a little banged up, but he'll live. Guessing a few drifters were trying to find out about your camp, how many men you have, how many guns. I hope he told them. We have all the damn guns we need, and we mean to keep them. Fitz don't got no more to say about that now, do they? No, I guess they don't. Manny gets back. Tell him to keep his nose down. St. John out. Yeah, like I said, I'm not sure if that's the the way that cancer is like the stealthy way of doing it. But yeah, just hide on the other side of this like river or a lake or something like that. And then they won't cross it and you could just shoot them all. Obviously, this was a while ago. Maybe like that's been sorted with a patch, but it would seem to have worked. But I didn't have enough ammo to do it, you know, so I just had to get myself killed. Right, uh, it's snowing right now and I'm pretty sure snow is what makes Freakers the strongest. Kind of fucking luck I have, innit? All right, we're going to go to the merchant. We're going to get some supplies and that. Actually, whilst I'm here, let me, let me go on here quickly. I'm going to equip this. Just because then I've got a bit more of a spraying weapon, you know, because a shotgun is not very useful against the hold. So we're going to keep this for now. Okay. Primary weapon is all right. Let's buy yep. some supplies. Fill up with saddlebags. Yeah, good. I, did, I shouldn't have bothered doing that. Oh, I can't buy uh, frag grenades. God damn it. Oh, well, it's not, it's not a big deal. I don't need to use any of these silencers at the moment. They're not very important for now. Yeah, I think we're all set, to be honest. 
Let's have a look if we can build anything. Let's have a look on the traps. You be careful out there. Oh, there you go. I've got five remote bombs now. How about over here? Have I got a tractor bombs yet? A tractor, rock, smoke bomb. Flashbang. Oh. There's an attractor bomb that you can get, and it is absolutely amazing. I don't know, I don't know where you, I think you might learn it from doing one of the bandit camps, but the attractor bomb is an absolute beauty. An absolute beauty. I tell you, it will save your life. Just gonna come over here and buy some fuel. Got good shit in stock today. Buzz, how's camp Dad, right? 500 for fuel. Whoops. There. Good Actually, is there any um okay. is there any upgrade really for my uh saddlebag? No, rank three. Okay, never mind. Uh, right, I'm going to head over now to the sawmill. Actually, I think I'm going to try and sleep. I'm not sure if it's going to, like, change the weather or not. Because, like, you know when you do the missions in this game, you always get the cutscene play out and the time of day always changes in the weather, doesn't it? I'm just going to have a sleep quickly. I do love the snow. It's absolutely beautiful. But you don't want it to snow when you're fighting a horde. Because, like I said, I don't know if it makes them quicker or if it makes them stronger or both. I mean, it's night time right now, so they will be stronger. So, yeah, this is the worst situation to fire a hold in. So we're just going to have a quick sleep, and then we'll go there. I've got 15 minutes. 20 if I really push it, so... Fuck's sake. This is going to be a right pain. I might not kill it in this video. I'm just telling you right now, I might not kill it in this video. We might have to do it next time in the next video, but I'll give it a go. The snow hasn't stopped, but it's morning at least. <laughs> I suppose I can deal with quicker freakers. As long as they're not strong like they are at night, it should be alright. Look at the state of this. It's, it's kind of nice to be looking at this because it's actually quite warm today. It's about 25 degrees today, so it's nice to see something uh, a bit snowy, you know. Cools you down a little bit when you're sitting in a hot room recording YouTube videos. I've also got the computer on, you know, which is providing a lot of heat from the fan. PS4 Pro provides a lot of heat. This... It's a bit late for that, isn't it? This... It's a bit late to be apologising for that. That happened like, what, 100 years ago? Oh. The weather ain't gonna change. Okay, I always leave my bike here. Yeah, Ricky. Boozer just told me you're heading to the old sawmill. Uh, yeah, and Boozer has a big mouth. He is head of security. He has to tell me. You remember when I took you to the sawmill, right? You remember me showing you the horde that lives there? Oh, yeah, I remember. The really big horde that lives, sleeps, and eats there. Uh, yeah, like I said, I remember. Uh, look, Ricky, when I was with the militia, they, uh, we, <laughs> we created a sort of souped-up Molotov. A souped-up Molotov? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like napalm. Anyway, trust me, I got this. We need you, Deke, alive. Ricky, just be fine. You don't gotta worry about me no more, okay? I know what I'm doing. Ricky? Yeah. I'm, uh, just lighting some candles. Okay. And in, in this case, some big goddamn Molotovs, but, you know, you get the idea. Yeah, okay. Deacon out. I mean, I only have two. I might be able to build another one. No. No, I can't build another one. Nope, I ain't got any polystyrene. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up some traps. How do, I, how do these work again? I can't remember how they work. Alright, brother, you're killing me. Where are you getting the creosote? Uh, you just like driving that dump truck around. Goddamn right I do. Alright, um, I'm heading to the old sawmill. They got a couple of storage tanks there. They should have all the creosote we need. The old sawmill? Last I checked, there was a horde there. Big goddamn horde. Yeah. I'm, uh, pretty sure I knew that. Wait, do you still got a death wish? I mean, even after finding your old lady, Deke? 
We're gonna get her back. Who's man? No, no, I don't. Look, I can handle this. Just be ready. I'll radio when it's clear to bring your rig in. Deacon out. All right, this plan ain't gonna go as smoothly as I thought. Normally, they're all sitting down there in that like little bit down there, you know. And then I can set a bunch of traps up up here, and then I lure them all up here. Manny says he's got a part for your bike. Not sure I have enough cam credits. What's that one up there doing by that window? Is he having a right? Look at him. He's like, oh, oh, he fell. Oh, the hell, he died. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Man, if they all do that, this is going to be very easy. Oh, look, they're all in there. Look. Okay, they're all having to sit down, right? So what I could do is I could lay a few of these down here. After placing a remote bomb, press left to detonate it. Okay, right. Good job it told me that, as I wouldn't have remembered. Right, I'm going to have one go at this, and if I die, then we're going to have to do this next time, okay? Going to make like a little path of them, and I'll slowly detonate them. Then I run down that way, and I follow the fence down, and then there's like a little couple of bits where you can like get them all stuck and things like that, you know? Just got to remember sort of roughly where I've placed them. I... Did I put one over here? Yes, I did. Right. Actually, before I do this, I'm going to quickly quick save it. Otherwise, we have to replace everything again. And there's a lot of faffing around. So I'm going to quickly quick save it. Right. This is a massive hole. You have no idea. You sort of saw a little bit of them then. You'll see just by the fact that I'm going to throw a Molotov in there, a big Molotov, and it ain't going to do anything. <laughs> how, many, how many are there? Can I even get close enough to throw one in properly? They're going to see me instantly, ain't they? Oh, fucking hell, here we go. There are five explosions. Five explosions so far and I've killed practically none. Ah! A lot more supplies this time, if I'm completely honest. Ah, here we go. If you come through here, then you can do this. See? You can sort of like block them all in a little bit. Ah, oh, shit. I thought that was an actual thing I could blow up. Man, they come from every direction. No, 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 don't die. Oh, shit, that was close. Down there, didn't we? Right, I don't know. I don't know what I've got left. I don't know how much stuff I've got left. I've got six frag grenades. That's all right, I guess. You might be hearing a bit of noise at the moment. I think the kids might be in the playground because I'm playing this a bit later than I should be. Oh, 
fucking hell, look. Something like it's only a little like a little teeny bit left really when you consider how big that bar is, you know. There's another way I can go in here where I can do the same sort of thing as I did in here a minute ago where I like pull the thing down. It might be here actually. Yeah, so I come through here. bullets Jesus this is crazy am I can I like, build anything at all oh man oh yeah six molotovs that's nice that is You dare, Deacon. I ain't got no stamina. Have I got any like. Oh shit, I crafted one but didn't use it. <laughs> there we go. But like I said, if you can hear a bunch of noise, I do apologise. There's not much I can do about it, unfortunately. Build up. No, it's all it's all gonna have to be done with a gun now, and I don't have many bullets. If I could get to my bike, then I could pick up some more ammunition. What could happen if I come up here? Probably gonna end up dead, isn't I? I? Suppose I could have run under there to give myself a bit more time, couldn't I? So to be honest, the fact that we've even got this far, I'm not getting confident or anything, but the fact that we've got this far is an absolute miracle. Oh. Oh, did we do it? Oh, did we fucking do it? I think we did it. What happened to the others? Man, look at the state of, the, of all the crosses on the map. I think we did it. Yeah, we did it. Holy shit, dude. Looks like I missed all the fun. Yeah. Next time, I drive the truck. You fight the freakers. Yeah, brother. Okay, just pull it over there. All right, you got it. All right, that's it. Head back to camp. I'll meet you there. Mm. All right. And, uh, booze man. Drive carefully. <laughs> what do you think? That I'm gonna blow myself up? <laughs> Man, that was an absolute nightmare. Oh shit. Oh crap, yeah, look, there was some alive still. So where the hell did they come from? Hey, look, you see them? Look, they're just they're all going back to sleep. Yeah, there was a couple of them left. I told you there was a few left. I was only coming back here to get some more ammo. Hey, Deke, you there? Shut up, I ain't got time hey, to talk to you, Ricky. Sorry. I've got to end the video. There's still some work I need to do on the truck. Uh, I'll radio you when it's ready. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Uh... I'm ready when you are. Dick, you sure you want to do this? They're coming, Ricky. Unless we take him out first. You're right. Okay, Ricky out. All right, gonna save the game now. We're gonna end it for today. Man, I am fucking buzzing that I managed to kill that in one, you know?
because obviously I've only played through the game once, you know, so it's not like I've done this uh, this sword mill hold a million times, you know, and it was going really bad for me. I was a lot more prepared this time, though, and I had a lot better supplies. I had five remote explosives, 12 molotovs once I built some more, two napalm mol molotovs, six frag grenades, you know, uh, what else? Uh, five pipe bombs, a whole magazine of two guns worth of ammo to take that lot down. That's how much I used. Just to recap how much I just used. <laughs> it's insane. But yeah, I'm going to end the video now, Wolf of Bets. And then next time, I guess we'll probably be ready to go and attack uh, the militia camp, I reckon. So yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf of Bets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. You bloody better have. <laughs> like, share, and join the pack today. <laughs>